Hello once again, it's Mr. Dondi, and for today we're going to discuss about the different types of essay, and particularly we will we'll focus on the uh, uh, agree or disagree type of essay. So let's begin. First and foremost, there are five types of essay. Agree, disagree, question, advantages, disadvantages. We also have discussion question, double question, and direct question. So these are the five. Now, according to statistics, 38% of these questions will be coming from agree or disagree. 38%. 22% will be coming for or from the advantages and disadvantages question. Um, around 18% as well will be for discussion questions. Uh, 21 for double question and 2% um, for direct question. So more likely, if you take the test, you're going to have agree or disagree or advantages or disadvantages questions or maybe a, or maybe a discussion question so we're going to focus now on agree and disagree question because it's number one okay so let's proceed with that it's whether you agree or disagree completely is actually the thing teenagers should have regular exams at secondary schools as, uh, as this will prepare them better for life after leaving school so this is the prompt this is the topic given so most likely the task that you will have will be in this manner. To what extent do you agree or disagree? To what extent do you agree or disagree with this statement? Um, do you agree or disagree with this opinion? Or simply, do you agree or disagree? So all of these are tasks that, that you need to respond to as well. Okay, so let's proceed with the structure. Let's focus on the simple structure because in the IELTS examination, you don't get to have much time to think okay so get familiar so most of you or most of us are already aware of uh, the some of the structures so we need to just emphasize it okay so let's focus on completely agree or completely disagree now when you say simple structure we we, we can think of um, paragraphing to be the easiest way possible to explain this okay so we're going to discuss this one uh, more clearly. You need four paragraphs. Introduction, body paragraph one, body paragraph two, and conclusion, body or the paragraph number four. So the introduction, as you know, needs to do two things. You're going to introduce the topic and respond to the question. So in this case, it's going to say we completely agree or we completely disagree, okay? So with whatever statement or with, with whatever topic. Now in your body paragraph one, we're going to have the first reason why you completely agree or disagree. So we're going to have the topic sentence and the development, and then finally maybe a link. If it doesn't sound too repetitive. Well, similarly to second body paragraph, we will have, we will need to do the same, okay? So we're going to have the topic sentence, we're going to have a development and then maybe a link as well. And we will have that uh, examples of this one later on. So finally, the conclusion is simply going to restate our position. Our position is going to remind the examiner that we completely agree or we completely disagree. And it is going to uh, summarize also our ideas. So the ideas that we mean, uh, that we mention rather in our body paragraph one and body paragraph two should also be summarized. Okay. So imagine this is the question. Teenagers should have regular exams at secondary school as this will prepare them better for life after leaving school. Do you agree or do you disagree? So that's your task. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to underline keywords that helps us understand this question. So again, uh, words like teenagers, um, regular exams at secondary school. We can also have prepare them so uh, being teenagers and uh, prepare them uh, after leaving school. So we're going to understand these words and underline them at the same time so that you will have an idea on uh, the, the, the important things. Uh, you avoid missing out important key features. That's the thing. So, so let's imagine a plan. So we're going to use for this particular essay now, let's say, um, the idea is that we don't have much time so we can either write the plan in on the actual test 
you can do that or maybe in your mind but i suggest you can you can type it in the in the in the text box uh, all right uh, in the text box on the exam so let's let's pretend that we completely agree so let's let's try to gather reason the first reason this is for your body paragraph one so let's think about one reason good practice before university exam so this is actually one of the reason why i agree because it's a good practice regular exam at secondary school is a good practice before before university exam so that's that's good for for teenagers right so that's a good idea that you can that you can maximize in your body paragraph number one let's think about number two help teenagers develop useful skills for work and most likely that is also a brilliant idea to expound with to elaborate with in your body paragraph number two okay so uh for number two this is good because this is a preparation for teenagers or young adults or young people uh in order to prepare them for uh career work in the future okay so we're going to start with now the introduction so for our introduction needs to do two things as mentioned it needs to introduce a topic and respond to the question so let's introduce the topic first okay so let's see exams are an important feature of secondary education however there is contention over whether frequent exams prepare students for post school life so if you notice i need to paraphrase everything you know post school life that's after school okay or after leaving school and so on and so forth so it's important that you have to explain the idea in your own words so you can paraphrase and this one in paraphrasing we've used a synonym next respond to the question now do you agree or disagree so we're going to say of course we agree i believe that teenagers should be given regular exams as this will provide useful practice before they go on to be assessed in university and also help develop a range of skills which are essential or important in the world of work so that's my that's the response and that's my opinion that's my position so that's for introduction although i need to include another point but later on okay it's called an outline but that will be later okay so We've mentioned that the ideas in our introduction that we're going to write about in our body paragraph one as well. So you can just, you know, say that this essay will discuss about my agreement or your disagreement. So let's talk about body paragraph one. Okay, so let's try to proceed with topic sentence development and link. Okay, let's give good example to this. Remember your your reason, first reason is good practice before university exam. That's your first reason. So let's focus on that. We're going to start with the topic sentence and the topic sentence is going to show the examiner what our idea is okay so we're going to introduce our idea so like having frequent exam at high school ensures the teenagers have ample examination practice before continuing to higher levels of education so that's one good sentence to begin with as our topic sentence okay now we need to move on to the development now when we write the development we sometimes give a result a reason you know an additional information and also you can give example which is very strong way of developing our ideas actually so let's see so in further education it's almost certain that cert uh, that students will be tested in one way or another this may be practical okay i can give an example for example a vocational course will require students to pass practical exams or academic university students are evaluated on course work type okay so this is our corp work type of test so this is an example now of my development so this is important because i'm able to develop my idea my topic sentence so this is an example i provided example and further explanation next is the link this is optional we don't usually include a link if it sounds too repetitive right so but in this case we do have a link and it's going to look like this um, hence exams at secondary school provide a foundation of experience which prepares teenagers for the test they will encounter in future education so that's it that's a link okay now let's look about let's look at body paragraph two the same thing topic sentence development and link all right so here helps 
helps teenagers develop useful skills for work. So this is how the topic sentence would look like. And it's as an example. Okay, regular exams also push teenagers to develop a range skills that are useful in the world of work. And we can make development. For example, taking an exam requires a student to plan, prepare, and perform in its in the test. Thus, developing time management capability, resiliency, and the ability to deliver under pressure is definitely a good way to make a development. These skills are invaluable in a professional setting where it is essential. Okay, so that's clear. So we can make a link as well. The more exams that the students or teenagers will, will conduct in high school, the greater the opportunity for them to develop such skills. So that's impressive. And now, conclusion portion. Let's restate our position. It's so important in order to uh, convince the examiner that we, that we were able to cover our, our essay with a very clear and vivid um, explanation of our position. We need to restate our position. Now, we need to restate that one and summarize the ideas. And it's usually going to be one sentence to four sentences long. So in this case, I'll just have to make one sentence there for my uh, position. So in conclusion, I would argue that teenagers should be given regular exams at secondary school because they provide useful practice for future tests in further education and develop a range of skills that help teenagers when they start working. So that's already the statement of, a uh, restatement of my position, of my opinion, all right? Should be given regular exams at secondary school. And I also able to summarize the ideas. And that's the, the point, the ideas of my main body paragraph one, and also my main body paragraph two in my conclusion as well. So they provide useful practice for the future test in further education is a good way to to sum it up, the ideas of your body paragraphs, okay?